Hey there folks, how's it going? Hope everyone's having a good uh, day today. I got this game here. Um, it's called Jungler. So you're seeing right now the um, the arcade version running in MAME. As it says at the bottom, it's made by Konami, uh, which is obviously a pretty famous company. But um, not sure if uh, most people have heard of it. Uh, the game, rather, not the company. The uh, I'm pretty sure people have heard of Konami. Hey, Gamers Grotto. It says I'm late. What am I, what am, why am I late? Because I should have streamed earlier. Sorry. Um, so this game was only ported to, uh, I think, this one console, the Arcadia 2001. I showed this last time I did an Arcadia game, uh, which is pretty obscure console. Um, and I uh, wanted to check it out. Like I said, it's a, it's a Konami game. It was actually published by Stern in the U.S., but it's a really obscure one. I never heard of it before. I don't know if I'm curious anybody here has ever heard of it. If you've you know if you're in the stream, let me know. If you're watching afterwards, let me know in the comment section if you've ever played this game. Also, I got something else really cool today, which I'll show you guys before I start the game. Um, my sister is visiting town, and she brought me this Star Trek: The Next Generation interactive video board game. It's like one of these VHS uh, tape games where apparently it has like all this footage from. They filmed like an hour of footage. Um, like on set, you know, during the next generation time frame, they came out like in 1994, so like basically right when the show was ending. So I really hope to stream this at some point, um, some point in the near future, because it looks really cool. And uh, you have it, Jeremy? Uh, of course you have it. <laughs> How is it? Is it good? <laughs> so um, let's try this game out. Um, I, I have like one of those like arcade sticks, you know, because I could use like a real arcade joystick. I'm just gonna use the keyboard just for now. Um, but actually, the, the main the purpose of this game here, and I, hopefully there'll be sound once I get it going. So let's test it out here. There we go. Um, so you know what? Let me um. I probably should have kept it running first and explain how it goes. Maybe if I leave it, it'll go back to the track mode. The purpose of this game is you're this this snake guy thing, and you have to like eat the other snakes basically. Or I guess I'll have to start the game. Can you hear the music? Yeah, you can hear it. Right? All right, so I'm this white guy, and I can run around using the arrow keys. And essentially, if I collide with a snake which is longer than me, then he kills me. So I'll show you that. Here, look. I'm dead because he's like that guy's like slightly longer. It was directed by Jonathan Frakes, made by the creators of the Nightmare Borders. I, 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 I remember playing those Nightmare games back you know, back in the day when I was a teenager or in college or something. I was in college. And uh, they were pretty much sucked. <laughs> it was like, hey there, dirtbag. That pink thing apparently will just stop you in your tracks. If you try to go through it, you won't be able to, and it freezes you. Here, look. I can't get through there. I don't know what that is. The orange, the, the strawberry gives you, like, some, some extra points. And it also allows you to eat the other guys. So now I'm able to eat them. That guy got stuck, but it's, it's only a short-term thing. So if I, once it wears off, this guy will kill me. I'm just... <laughs> I got both of them, actually. Okay. Um, but does that, that's not the only way to kill these guys. This happened the way I'm using it right now, but there's other ways, too. So I'll do that right now, as long as I survive. I can't believe this is working. Wow. Actually beat the level somehow. I don't know what the hell I did, but I didn't even do anything. So you actually can shoot too. Uh, if I press the right button there. So I can, they can shoot and I can shoot. If you hit somebody in the tail, if if you hit somebody in the tail, it takes off one segment of their size. And you can shoot the tail through the body. So that guy's green now. Now I can actually get him. He's exactly the same size as me. I think. Oh, I got shot. So that got killed because I'm smaller than. If I if I am am the same size as them or or larger, then I can eat them. So that guy's I think the green one is one segment shorter than me. But now he's yellow means he's exactly the same size. So I gotta be careful. Now he's red because I got shot. The guy keeps shooting me. The other guy got stuck there luckily, but I'm in big trouble because they can shoot too. Right, that guy I managed to shoot and then enough and kill him. But I'm really small right now. So that thing will make me grow a little bit bigger. That's what it actually does. But like the idea here is always to stay like ugh, I didn't mean to do that. The idea is always to stay behind 
um, them so you can shoot their tail. What happened? Oh, how I, how I, oh I'm like super small now. How did that happen? I'm in deep, deep trouble. <laughs> I think this one shot will kill me at this point, or, or collision or anything. Um, I, somehow I shot the shot. I don't know even how I did that. But yeah, basically, I'm, I'm dead now. Oh, so I got one segment back from the strawberry. But yeah, this is this is a Konami arcade game. I said a sort of obscure one. But you, you gotta get behind these guys, otherwise you're screwed, and it's not easy. That guy killed himself somehow because he I don't know what he did. So I'm not even sure how this works all the time. Has anybody here ever played this game? I'm really curious, and I'm guessing the answer's no. I managed, ugh, damn it. I managed to get that guy who was stuck at the bottom thing, but then I got killed too. But actually, that was that was good for a high score. That was fifth place. Um, can I put in a high score? Oh, it's letting me do it? Okay. S. What happened to the first base there? Oh, it doesn't matter. So now I have a high score. All right, let's try this again. I think that was just luck, by the way. Because somehow when I was talking in the beginning, I managed to... I don't know why he turns left there, also. I didn't, I didn't actually make him turn left, but he did it by himself. So that 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 pink thing is like sort of a trap, I guess. I mean, I don't know why anybody would go there intentionally. I think it's just a, de a dead death trap. But it's not easy to hit these guys. And also, you, you only die if you collide with the head. So just now you saw I hit him, but I didn't hit his head, so I, I survived. And I, now I'm, I'm the same size as all of them. This is what I did the first time. So as long as I don't get shot, I'm, right now I'm, I can be, I can match with anybody. And they can only shoot my tail, not my head. So if, I, if I'm very aggressive right now, I can do okay. Back you, bastard. And you can turn on yourself, as you can see, too. So I guess you get a certain number of, of snakes, and then the level will restart to, to a new level. Come on. Get your ass over here. <laughs> ah, alright. So I, I beat those guys. Alright, so I'm level 2 now, I guess. But now I'm starting off I th with either they're smaller. I think I'm smaller. So the beginning is really key here. If you like, can do this okay. See that guy managed to shoot him. Oh no! But another guy came right away and he's shooting me. I, I got smaller there. That guy killed himself. This guy's gonna kill himself. Ooh, I, the strawberries are really key. But you all go down, there, you stupid schmucks. I don't want to fly into that myself. But yeah, this is an interesting game. It's definitely the mechanics of it are more interesting than your standard game that you've probably seen a million times. Oh, nice. When I get to the certain length, I really kick ass, basically. Because now I'm, like, longer than, than, than they are when they come on the board. And now I don't have to shoot even. I just have to hit them. There we go. da da da, -da. Oh, now that's, the, that's a different board now. Interesting. Uh oh, this seems like a bad place to be. He's just picking me off. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that wasn't good. Player one. Is this, that guy can kill right away. Oh, ah, oh, man. They, they come out of the wall. Uh, this actually looks like a much harder board because the way these long, narrow corridors are. It's really hard to get behind them. And also, like, they're not shooting against each other. They're all, like, ganging up on me. It's like a big game bang here. So if I if I could get in, oh no, because I got I got to run out because over there I came the other way. I get those pink things are death traps basically. Ah! 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 <laughs> Come on, get back here! Oh no, he's like he turned the tables on me. No! Oh, that's the strawberries are good. But it, Another strawberry down there. What happened there? They, those two guys are like butt hunting each other. They, they died. I wish there was more strawberries. Like that would make this a whole lot easier. That'll be like more like a snake game or something. I guess if they keep killing each other, that's that's works in my favor. But 
can't really expect that to happen. I'm just right trying to sort of try to avoid them. Yeah, that the guy's these guys are dumb. Like if I could just let them die like they're shit themselves, that would be a little bit easier. Jeremy, what do you think of this? Have you ever played this game before? Are you still even there? Oh no! Uh oh. That wasn't good. But they're really dumb, they fly into those pink things all the time. So, I mean, to some extent, if I could just avoid them, I think I already have the high score, like, for the machine. Doesn't mean it's, like, a real high score, but, like, you know, in terms of the reset, it's interesting, lol. <laughs> this is the last guy. I just gotta shoot him a little bit, and before he gets me. Well, he got faster. Shoot, he got faster somehow. I didn't get faster. Going on here. It's like the last, you know, alien in whatever game you're playing where they make them speed up. <laughs> like my bullets aren't even hitting him. Ah, come on, that was crap. I'm just starting the beginning again, or is this the one, the one guy left? Oh, it's the one guy left. Now he's green because they, they gave me back my strength from before. Now I beat the level. And that's a new maze. Cool. Alright, so... I'm going to be killed in a second, I'm sure. The key to this, I think, is to survive in the beginning and get a strawberry. Like, literally, that's the, that's the, that's the trick. So if not, okay, so they, or, see, I got a strawberry, I think, somehow, and now they're all yellow. Now I can chase them down and get that other strawberry. Oops! I got shot. Okay, now I, I'm back. Killed that one. That one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no no no. Oh no, no. Now I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Alright. I managed to shrink it. Oh. So they, they show you when someone's about to come out of the wall. Ooh, I managed to shoot that one enough so that he got small enough that I could kill him. Come on, here you go. Ah, bastard. No, 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 no. The music on this is pretty annoying, though. It's like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's just, not really music. It's just a continuous, like, sort of... Ah, damn it. Damn. Uh, my running skills are pretty good. No! What happened? Somebody went through me. I didn't even know what just happened. They all sped up and, like... They're making me, like, fight here. <laughs> No, no, no. I can only have two bullets on the screen at a time, it looks like. Once I get my two bullets, I'm screwed. That guy screwed up. Alright, that guy's shot. Alright, he's dead. Oh, damn it. Hey, Yosifa, this looks like Nibbler. It is a little bit like Nibbler. Oh, why, why, am I, why did I start small? Don't worry, pal. You're not going to be small forever. It's a little bit like Nibbler, except you only grow when you get a strawberry, which is like once in a while, and you can shoot. And there's this concept of if you're the longer you are, the, the more you can, the more punishment you can withstand. And also, they go too damn fast. They both went to that dead end thing. Yay! I'm doing really well with this game, actually. <laughs> Maybe the reason why you never saw this in the arcade is because it's too easy. And, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm surviving too long on one quarter, even though I suck. It's possible. Whoa! Uh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> but still, I got the high score of the machine. I mean, like, of the built in scores. That's pretty good. Right? That must be good. What do you guys think? Why does it start there? I don't know. Whatever. Stew. 
So there's this is the intro where it explains how it works. Basically, the, you could get the ones that are yellow or green, but if they're if they're red, it means they're longer than you and they're going to kill you. So again, this is Konami, um, pretty unknown Konami game for a pretty you know pretty important company. And so I also have this um, on the uh, on the Arcadia 2001. And so I wanted to check out that port and see if it's any good. Um, I actually already have the thing, the cart loaded up, so I don't, need to, I don't, I don't need to take the cart out. But I still need to take this stupid thing out because, and by the way, these cases are like so tight that it's like hard to get this out. But I need to get the overlay out. I'll show you in a second why. So it comes with um, this gigantic cart. This is the cart. It's like huge. I don't know why it has to be so ginormous. And the box is basically really big to fit the cart. So the cart goes in there, and there's instructions, and then it comes with these overlays that you're supposed to put into the um, the Arcadia controllers. You see, this is this looks like fun. I agree, it is fun. So these go into the Arcadia controllers, and um, I I cut it with a scissor, just like a tiny, tiny, tiny drop, just so I can fit it into this Intellivision controller here. So now that it's cut, just a drop, it actually slides in the top here. And goes down in there. And now I have the, this basically, the television controller is basically just about exactly the same as the Arcadia controller. Um, the only difference is that instead of this this disc, it had the disc, but it also had a, a, a joystick piece you could screw in on the top. So um, you could use it more as a joystick if you wanted to. But it ha but both of them have these concept of these overlays. So if you look at the overlay here, um, the one that I just put in, you know, there's it controls the num numeric keypad underneath. So all these buttons in the middle are just fire, or you can fire using the side buttons, either the, you know the side buttons on either side. And then they also this thing with closed gates and open gates, which is something which is not in the arcade game. So let me boot up the Arcadia one um, and show you guys what it looks like. First plug in this. Uh, I have the Intellivision controller connected through this really cool thing called a, a 2600 adapter, uh, which you guys want to get that. It's, it's pretty awesome to connect legacy joysticks and stuff to PC. So let me just plug it in. There we go. Oh, I forgot to hold down the. Well, that was interesting. That noise. Let's try that again. Okay. And I'm going to minimize here. Actually, I'll I'll minimize this guy here. And I'm going to start up the Arcadia emulator. Where is it? It's called Win Arcadia. So let me move that. Or I'll do it this way. One sec. Just going to change this source to go to the Arcadia emulator. There we go. And I'm going to, I'll move my logo, oops, I'll move my logo, but I'll do it a different way. There. All right, cool. So now, now I'm running the Arcadia emulator and start up the game. So right away you see this game is not necessarily going to look as good as it does on the arcade version. This is the home conversion. Um, it says licensed by Konami Industry LTD. <laughs> Extreme Rec 2000, how you doing? It says, ah yes, that one arcade game Konami doesn't want to talk about. I think there's more than one like that actually. When you go through, when I, when you go through the list of Konami arcade games, there's actually a few obscure ones, but this is definitely one of them. So, um, again, I have this running with the Intellivision controller. With the with the overlay for the for the Arcadia game for Jungler, 
And uh, it's actually interesting. You have a lot of different options here. If you look at the instructions, um, there's options for you can have one dragon on the screen or more than one dragon on the screen. I think we definitely want um, two dragons. So that's option five. So right now, the, the upper right corner says opt one. So I'm going to change that to five uh, if I were going to do it. Let's see. That was not it. One second. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm looking at the wrong focus here. Let's try that again. Uh, that was not it. There we go. Opt two. So now I'm opt three, opt four, opt five. And then uh, game is the board. So right now I have this board here. If I change the game, I get different boards. Actually, some of them look the color scheme are a hell of a lot better. Extreme Rec 2000 says, then again, there are several loads of obscure games no one wants to talk about. Yeah, it's true. I mean, that's that's what I'm trying to do here, by the way. Like, you know, I think this is pretty cool. Like, I wouldn't, like, play every single um, game for the Arcadia 2001, which is an obscure console, but this one is actually a port of a Konami arcade game. So, like, it should get a little more attention, honestly, and, and, it, and it's not been ported to any other system, as far as I'm aware. So, Game 5, Game 6, Game 7... Game 8, some of these colors, game 9, okay, go back to game 1. Uh, let's just do game 2 for now, and one thing I noted about this, which is really weird, <laughs> aside from the sound, um, so first of all, my guy, like, he's, he only, like, like, opens up when I'm moving, and when you press the button to shoot, it looks like it does nothing originally. Um... I'm pressing the button, it's like he's not shooting. The only way to make it shoot, I figured out, is if you actually aim in the direction you want to shoot while you're shooting. And then he'll shoot. I just got shots, but he was shooting. But it looks like there's only one dragon. I thought I had the option for two dragons. Um, and also, the, the, the AI, and I think even in the arcade game, the AI is like really stupid, because it doesn't, like, if, if you just stay in one spot, he won't come and seek you out. He'll just, like, eventually find you, maybe, by random chance. But it goes, like, in a weird pattern. Um, what are you guys saying? Extreme Rex says, I wonder why Konami doesn't want to talk about this one. Because it's not as exciting as Castlevania. I'm guessing that's the reason. Um, and then, Lester, how's it going, man? Says, this looks like something I played before the Apple II as a kid. I Googled it, I was thinking of Serpentine. So I actually have Serpentine as well. I want to play that at some point. Um, I guess, is that the, uh, the like, the strawberry? Um, I'm not, sh not sure what that did for me. It made me, like, collapse again. Yeah, see, I'm not even sure if I can hit him or not. See, this game doesn't have the color coding like the other one does, but I'm, I'm, look I'm definitely smaller than him right now, so theoretically, if I run into him, I'll die. Let's just test that out. Okay, man, I certainly died there. I feel like there's actually even more sound than there is in the, the arcade version. The arcade version only have like a sort of a dull thumb. To be like, doo -doo, like he's, he's, it's really hard to get behind them. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Especially the shooting is really crappy. So I'm yellow now. He's green. Does that mean something? <laughs> nope, I still died. <laughs> I gotta figure out how I can kill him. RSD Game Maker? No one outside me and Adirac. What is, what's RSD Game Maker, Extreme Rec? You mentioned it before and I missed that when you the first time you mentioned it. What is that? So I could... Uh, he's right way up my ass. Get off of me. Alright, now he turned blue. Man, I can get him now. Come on. The controls of this thing, the, this this control stick is like okay, but it's it's pretty lousy actually. Oh yeah, I got him. All right, but so maybe I can only I guess the color coding does make a difference, but it's just a little bit harder to decipher. This is the game of like running behind someone and shooting their ass. Shoot! 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 Aha! Actually got some points. Is he slightly faster than you? He might be. RST ST Game Makers, the MS DOS game engine created by recreational software designs. Alright. So what kind of games should you make on them? Is it like mostly for action games or are point, point and clicks or RPGs or what? I'm assuming it's for action games. 
He got me just now, Lester. What, what, what just happened? Why'd that happen? Did the game end, or...? That's weird. I don't know why that happened. Okay, let's do that again. Back to game one option. Hold on a second. So I want to... Something reset, maybe. See if I can get... I want to get the, the one that has more than... Okay, now there's two of them. Now option five shows two. All right, so let's do this one. Um, let's keep on game one. Nice approximation of the of the, the arcade, too, there. Oh, remember, I have these buttons that says close gates and open gates. So if I press that... It reset the whole thing. It's not supposed to do that. Hold on a second. What's going on here? Wait a second. Okay, hold on a second. I, I, I gotta close this and reopen it. I, I know what happened here. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Right, let's try that again. I know what happened. Sorry about that. There we go. So I press close gates, it closes those things in the middle there, and open gates will open them. So that's, like, that's theoretically like if you're being chased by something and, you know, you need to get away, but that's not really like a feature of this game. That's more like, you know, lock and chase or one of those things. Like, it's not, I don't know how it ended up in this game. Yeah, I got that guy. Gotta get this guy too. Oh, come on, get back here. You're not getting away! What? Oh! See what just happened? The guy, the other guy shot me, and I lost, I became a little bit smaller, and then because of that, I wasn't big enough to eat that guy anymore. Oh, no. Whoa, that was lucky. It's nice, it's hard to steer this thing. Oh, come on, get, get back here. <laughs> Alright, let's kill this guy instead. That took a lot of hits. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. This game is tough. Hold on a second. Oh, no. Yeah, this game is tough, by the way. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm okay, Mark. Um, have you ever heard of this game before? Jungler? It's a, it's a classic Konami arcade game from 1981. Um, and I was playing the game version before. You're a meme guy, so you may, may have seen it. And then this is the Arcadia 2001 version, which was the only port that I'm aware of. But it's pretty hard. Stop shooting my ass. This is like one of those games where you can see, like, get off my ass, get off my ass. And actually be, like, not messing around. No, 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 no. You, it's, you, you gotta, like, get behind them. Okay. Oh man, how'd I blow that? So I couldn't turn. This is new to you? I, I, I guess you're like in the jungle, that's why it's called Jungler. I'm assuming. I'm making an assumption here. He's not gonna follow me. I knew he wouldn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can turn back on yourself. I'm, oh, I just somehow closed the, the gates closed by themselves. I'm not sure what just happened. Wait, how come at the top of the screen that thing keeps changing? Like the thing that's in the top middle. Get off of me! Stop pumping me! Oh man! <laughs> right, open gates. Now I can kill that one if I do. If I do. Oh no! Damn it! I feel like this is. No! That was cheap. That was, oh come on! That was so cheap. I feel like the you know this is harder than the arcade for sure. <laughs> Hold on, what are you guys saying here? So, Street Rex 2000 is mainly meant for action games, thought platform games, shooters, and brawler. I'm going to see if I can check it out one time. Um, I believe there's a video showcasing this version I've seen before I've been playing actual Arcadia 2001. That's cool. I like to do emulation, um, but I am using, like, as close to as I can. I have, like, the real cart and, um, you know, the real overlay and all that stuff. Um, yeah, bogey. This game looks like utter chaos. <laughs> it's not. Like, I don't know why you have a cow motif there. Try again here. Is there like a concept of clearing the level in this one, like there is in the other one? Like the problem is, like these guys like work together. They gang up on you. No, no, no. 
You sure the cannot be cool? <laughs> I don't like the fact you have no invincibility after you die because they just like come right, like appear right in your ass and just start shooting you again. I at least try the Konami code, see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Uh, there's no B. Alright, I, I lost. So that, was a, that was a mistake. Alright, guys, shot him one time. Yes! Got somebody! Doo -doo -doo. Oh, come on, that was cheap. I mean, it was really cheap. He just, I was, he, I was trying to be cheap. Extreme Rack 2000 says, I feel like this could have been an Atari 2600 game. This absolutely could have been an Atari 2600 game. I pressed the button to open gates, but it was too late. So you see, the, the arcade game, I, got, I beat the high score on the machine. But this piece of crap... So the Arcadia 2001 came out in 1982, I believe, and this game came out in 1982 also. And, I mean, basically the reason why it failed so badly, I think, is because the graphics are pretty primitive, and they look like, you know, maybe the Atari 2600 game, maybe like, I don't know, in television or something, but definitely not like something that came out in 1982. So, it didn't, it didn't last very long. You made an LMW article. What's LMW? I know LMD. God damn it. This game really takes some, some like, getting used to. And why do the gates keep closing by themselves? That's the other thing I don't understand. Again, in the arcade version, there were no gates. In the arcade version, there were no gates. I don't know why this version has gates. I guess made it make it more interesting. Up the stakes. And then while I'm trying to chase down one of them, the other guy will chase me down and like kill me. Oh, actually got that one. Oh, this, that that red thing I think gives you additional length. That's what it does in the arcade at least. What was the hell was that? Did he eat it? Yeah, he ate it, bastard. The arcade game, they can't get that, only you can get it. I know. Uh, I think the emulator has seizure. You guys still there? LW has lost medium. Oh, wait. What? What? What the hell? What the hell just happened? Oh, crap. It went to full screen all of a sudden. And then when I tried to, like, hit escape to get it out of full screen, it actually closed it. It didn't go out of full screen. What the... Why did it do that? What is wrong? Oh my goodness. Alright, let's try that again. The emulator had a seizure. That real red thing is reduced to length. Yeah, ha ha ha. Um, Lost Media Wiki, I may have heard of it, but I know the abbreviation. But I, I'm not sure I know what it is, actually. Maybe you could enlighten me. It sounds like something about, like, like lost games, but... I'm not, sure, I'm not sure that's that's accurate. Okay, here's that red thing. Yum yum. Oh, there's another the red thing is back. Okay, got that guy. It's, I think it's to my advantage to have these gates open as much as possible. I think the gates being closed only hurts me. <laughs> and also this disc is hard to control. Hey, Mark, you summon Arturo? Cool. <laughs> hey, Arturo. Whoa, come on! Jeez. The lost media wiki is not media that's well lost. So what? what what's the example? So, whoa! Well, these discs are not easy to use. I Just, just FYI, like, I wish, it, I wish it was a real Arcadia joystick with a freaking thing on it because these television discs, like, they freaking suck ass, frankly. Hey, hey, Arturo. Is this the new PlayStation 5? Oh, I missed that before. Um, yes, this is the new PlayStation 5, actually. Actually, this is the PlayStation 6 prototype. Um, I was able to get a hold of it because I have an uncle that works at Sony. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get this yet. But um, I noticed they're always going like clockwise, and I'm, I'm also stupidly always going clockwise. See, that thing makes me longer. It's like a enhancement pill, as Lester is, is, is implying. 
But yeah, it's damn hard to steer. And look how they try to trip you up. Oh, what happened? Oh, nothing happened. I, something, I thought something happened there, but... And, 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 and the problem is you can only shoot when you're actually aiming. You have to hold the button down in the right direction to shoot. So it makes it... It's like I can shoot right now without, without pressing the freaking control stick. So, so that time I was trying to turn into that side thing and it didn't work. Alright, I am going to do better in this game. Again, like... Isn't the whole version of the game supposed to be easier in the arcade, not harder? Because the, ar the arcade was way easier than this. I guess part of it is because the, the control device is a piece of garbage. But, again, I couldn't turn. But part of it is because it's just... Excuse me, it's just hard. The, ga the gates closing randomly makes it hard. The AI seems smarter. Which is weird. Because the, the other game, if you were in the arcade, there was those dead zones. Those X's that kill, that like make you freeze. And they kept on flying into them like dumbasses. I'm like, super excited to actually like, look and hit this guy. Yay! I got 360 points. Oh, no, no, no! Get off! Come on, come on, come over here. Come on. Come on. Yes! No, get out of there. Oh, you took my thing. <laughs> I will tell you, say this, I'm getting into it a little bit, and it's definitely way better than that other game I played in the Arcadia last time. That space mission game where you have to put together the space station. A piece of garbage. Yeah, so Extreme Rec 2000, what else is on, like, Lost Media Wiki? Like, what's considered lost? Like, it really lost. Like, not like Land of the Lost, I'm assuming. It has to be, like, actually legitimately lost somehow. <sighs> Get out of my face. Wait, he shot just for no reason. This port is for the version of the people are a real challenge. Yeah, apparently. It's really hard. I mean, I, you can't, like, mess around because both of these guys are, like, get on, on your butt. And I can't shoot when I'm going to shoot. That's the other thing. Like, right now, I'm just not shooting. And right now it's shot. And shoot! Why is he shooting? Shoot! Yeah, Arcadia is more advanced, Mark says, with the year 2000 after all. Yeah, maybe. That might be the case. 2001, rather. 2001, a space Arcadia. Alright. Now, does this, ever, does this level ever end? That's what I'm not sure about. Because the arcade, there were levels. Once you killed a certain number of these snakes, then it would, like, sort of reset and go to the next level. And here, I don't see that happening yet, at least. Oops. Go away. Try to eat this other guy. That guy. Yay! Do 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 do. Counter 64 games like Mad Blitz Game, Raz, Outpost, Blood Rush. I never heard of any of those. So like, what does that mean? Were they actually like released and people don't remember them, or they never were actually released? Because like, you know, it's someone found a prototype or something. Like I've heard of games that weren't. Uh, it gets deeper and deeper as you go through the wiki. Oh man. So what do you guys think of this game? I'm curious what people think of it. Would anybody play this ever? Oh. Tricky. He doubled up on me. Come back here, you bastard. <laughs> you can't chase him down either, so that, that's sort of pointless. You gotta head them off at the pass. Like this. So this is the best score I've gotten, I think, so far. It may not last very long. I feel like I would play this, but probably only for a short period of time, and only if I really had anything else to do. Because Lester would probably try for ten minutes and give up. Yeah, I think that's about right. I just, it's just, it's not that. Oh, I don't know how that, what happened there. I, I, I doubled back by accident. It's not that it's bad, it's just that it's um, it's repetitive, and there's no... There's, it doesn't seem like I can win. Like, there's no progression. That's the problem. 
if there's multiple le like there's multiple levels, but it looks like you got to pick the level when you start the game. If there was like if there was like level progression, and I could um, like keep getting like further in the game, then I would probably play more. I have my headphone got tangled here. So that's Jungler for the Arcadia 2001. I'll go back and let's 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 try the. Um, I mean, you know, I, I guess my summary of playing this is: it's cool to play with the real controller. It's cool that it's an original Konami game, but um, it's not a great port necessarily. Well, they try to add some stuff with the multiple screens, multiple options. There's open gates and closed gates business that you can see on the controller. They try to add some stuff, but. Um, oh, you, Lester, you do have level customization. That's what you, that you do have. You missed that. I'll just show you quickly. Um, so AI difficulty level they don't have, but they do have speed. So when you restart the thing here, it's like option one. Option one is just one guy. I went to option five, which had two guys. And then you can also change the board. Uh, game two, I guess it goes back to option one, right? You got to select the game first, I guess. But there's different boards you can play, but it looks like you can't, um, looks like you can't, uh, like, go from one board to the other during the game. I mean, let me, let me close this. I'm going to go back to the arcade for a minute, and we'll try that again. Uh, get that back on the screen here. One sec. Come on. It's like so annoying. It loses it's hard to find the goddamn thing. There we go. Um I have to make it a little smaller. So I'll try the I'll try the arcade maybe one more time. But I, I mean the arcade is definitely quite a bit better. I mean, not it's not like that much better. Though, that's the thing. It's not, neither is this, none of this. This stuff is not rocket science, really. I feel like I'd rather play like a good um, RPG or something, honestly, than play this for too long. Shrek 2000. Did I miss your previous message? Um, maybe. Some were canceled. The prototypes have been found. Yet some release yet to be found, and some we we don't even know what happened. Yeah. Um, and Gamers Grouse is this game looks like a me rage game <laughs> uh, to me. And Marks and Sweets too as a top score. Yeah, so like um, that's what I was saying. Like I just played this game a couple times and I got the top score in the high score charts. So that's not too bad, right? I mean, it's it's it just controls a lot better. And I'm using the keyboard by the way. But let me here. The sound is not much better, though, to be honest with you. The thing about this one is it has those pink X's, where, and they're dumb, and they go there, and they get themselves stuck. And then they die, and, like, I get poised, essentially. So, if you can, like, be smart enough to stay out of trouble for a little bit, and then wait till the strawberry comes out, and then pick up the strawberry, now the tables are completely turned, and I can pick these guys off as long as I don't get hit. But it's much easier for me to avoid getting hit, too. See, that guy's, like, humping that pink, you know, thing that he's not supposed to be at. So he's dead. Now I get this strawberry down even longer. I just kill those two guys. I kill two more. So you see, the game is it became, like, a heck of a lot easier all of a sudden. As long as I don't get my ass shot, which I might, but, I mean, as long as I don't... And, these, and they're trying to dumb. They, they run around, like, in dumb patterns. See, I, I cleared the whole level. See that? Again, now, now I'm back to the small. They, these red guys are longer. But again, if I can sort of avoid getting hit for a while until one of the strawberries shows up, and it's not necessarily easy. See, that guy's trying to shoot me. Their bullets go slower. See, I was able to get around the bullets. Um, and Mark says I much prefer the graphics. <laughs> and she ripped it out and said something like an alien trying to contact us. Yeah, sure it does. Shoot. I screwed up. No, no, no. I think they, I think they hit me. So now, even if I get this thing, yeah, I'm not, I'm not big enough. I let myself get hit, but I, okay, let's see if I get the other one. What happens? And now, 
Now we're talking a different story here. The problem is that you gotta be careful because if one of them shoots me, then all of a sudden, like, the tables will be turned and they'll be eating me instead of eating them. So you gotta be careful with the strategy. It does work pretty well as long as you're careful. No! Oh, see, now I got shots, so now I'm in trouble. They shot, they shot me twice, at uh, three times. I'm in really big trouble, but this guy, he's like humping the bond there. So I left, there's only one more left of the level, actually. The, all the rest of them were taken care of already. This version seems better. He's, well, that was a, see, that guy, I don't have to do anything. I just have to hang out here. Because he decided to go to that dead end because he's a schmuck. Hey, Conkill Arcade. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody ever played this game. <laughs> I I, I, I I made a joke before, maybe it was too easy in like in the arcade and well, I, I started small so I'm sort of in trouble actually. What are you doing here? Stop doing that. And this level's harder because more of those pink things and they're, they're more annoying places. But see, that guy still managed to go there. Oh, that's what I want to strike there. Yum, yum, yum. No, no, no! Ah, damn it. No! This, yeah, this game is by Konami. Very obscure Konami title. It's not called uh, Castlevania or Contra or anything like that. But I think the best strategy is to stay out of their way. You know? Let them die. Let them kill each other. Let them fly to those X's. Wait till a strawberry shows up. Try to take said strawberry. If possible. And now, go to town and kill everybody in sight! Ah, 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 I'm Death Incarnate! Yeah, see, in this, in this game you get to go to the next level. So now it's, it gets harder and harder to do that strategy of just avoiding them, but it's, it's, I like that strategy because you can make them smaller or you can make yourself bigger. I think making yourself bigger is, is more uh, profitable. Look how dumb they are! See how that guy just flies to that thing? Like, I got a, I think I must have got a strawberry without even realizing it. See, yum yum strawberries! That dumbass, go there! Ha <laughs> ha! Where did I go? What happened? What's up? Am I chasing that guy's tail? I need to do that. There we go. You can only kill them by eating their heads, not their tails. They shot. He shot me through through my body just there. So that they could do. So you gotta be careful. Even if you're going head on, you can still get shot. But, oh, and that's what just happened to me. I got shot head on through my body, and it went to the tail. And then I lost a segment, so because of that, I was able to get eaten. Which is really annoying. But, oh no. Oh, I just got totally butt raped right there. Damn it. I returned the favor, you bastard. See, I, made, I made that guy small, but I got I'm even hitting even worse. I got one guy somehow. Ooh, no, 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 we're not in there. That green guy was able to kill, but he killed himself because he didn't like the life, I guess. Come here. Come here. Come here, you. Ah! Die! Alright, now I'm doing pretty well. Ah! Ah! Come here, sucker! Ah! I win again! Lester says this version I'll play more than 10 minutes. I gotta go back and read all your comments, but this is one of those games that I have a hard time reading the chat while I'm playing. Because it is pretty intensified. No, 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 get out of here, no, 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 no! <laughs> escape, escape, escape! There's a strawberry! Get this fruit! No! No, I got hit! Oh no, I'm in trouble now. I got the strawberry, but I got hit very badly first, so that was not what I was trying to accomplish. You see, that guy's still going to that pink thing. Because he's really done, apparently. Uh -oh. I want that strawberry, but I'm not sure I can get it. This game is pretty good, I think. Actually, I think this is this is underrated. 
the fact that nobody's ever heard of this game to me seems like a problem. I mean, obviously, it's not you know, it's not RPG, and it's not gonna give you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of enjoyment, but it seems pretty underrated. No, oh, damn, that was my fault. Yeah, I think underrated. Um, and I, and I can only read like every other comment. I, I feel really bad because I've always prided myself on reading the, the chat, no matter what kind of intense action game I was playing, but I think I've met my match at this one, honestly. Careful here. Ah! Damn it. I made that guy yellow, but then he made me yellow back. Okay, I, what, I don't understand why I start small now. Like, I already got penalized by get, losing a life, wasn't I? So why do I have to start small? When you start small, like, it's like, now it's like it was impossible to get these guys. Because I have to take off, like, their entire body. It's almost like I might as well better off wait for them to, like, kill themselves accidentally somehow. Get like art, you know, strawberries, but a lot of that's like boring. <laughs> See, I ran that, ran away from that guy. <laughs> that was some good running. I'm a master runner. Oh, I meant to go up and it didn't work. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> well, I blew away the high score again. Uh, let's see, can I actually put it in this time without a space? Yes. T U There we go. What are you guys seeing here? Um it sounds like an alien. Yeah, Lester says it'd be cool to see you play Serpentine compare it to this. Oh not today, but I will do it at some point. She Rip 2000 says an alien trying to contact us. Mark says I much prefer the graphics of this one, I agree. Uh Lester says this verse is better, at least the earlier levels are way easier. Extreme Rack, at least possibly get through some of it. See, I just think I didn't want to play another Castlevania game ever again after that incident. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> um, Mark says, I was curious how early in Konami Street this game was. I the first game was 1977. Yeah, um, this is from 81, so there's a bunch of games before this, but not all of their early games were ported. Uh, but apparently the Arcadia 2001 picked up a bunch of their ports for whatever reason. Um... I mean, it says here, this is thing, this system's by Emerson, like the radio company. I don't know how they got into this business. Started in 82, and I think by, like, 83, they were done, basically, because there's that big video game crash. Um, she wrecked again, I read this before. Very intensive Castlevania, underrated. Honestly, most RPGs aren't my thing anyway. Expire pages, I've only do a lot of grinding. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that one. I, I, I like action RPGs better. G-Rock, how's it going, man? How you doing? What's up? Pokemon is one of the few exceptions. Yeah, there's some RPGs that are better than others, but you gotta... My, my point was only that... Um, <laughs> my point only was... I'm laughing at Mark's comment. My point only was RPG... You know, even, or forget RPG. This game I was playing the other day, which I, which I want to play... I want to continue. 2064, the adventure game. That game was like 10 hours of content. This game here is probably like... Um, you know, 10 minutes of content. Not, not quite, but it's not that much. So Mark said you could mash this game with Jungle Hunt and call it Jungler Hunt. I wonder how that would work, actually, Jungler Hunt. But that's an interesting idea. Cogular Cates reminds me of Nibbler. Yeah, my wife was in here before. I don't know if she's still here, but she said it also reminds her of Nibbler, which I was impressed at the reference. Um, yeah, Extreme Rec 2000, action RPGs are more on my mind. I, I, I agree. I think it's like... Um, I'd rather, at this point, I'd rather be doing some action as opposed to just sort of sitting around and, and, and waiting. Um, I used to play Pool of Radiance on the PC, and I'll, I'll probably stream that at some point, but I, on the C64, and then on the PC, um, but uh, it's like, there was a battles where there was like 500 kobolds, and then basically you're just waiting for the co all the kobolds to take their turn, and some of them are in the back and they can't fight, so it's like, kobold is guarding, kobold is guarding, kobold is guarding, kobold is guarding, and you could go away and make a sandwich, basically, then eventually it'll be your turn, and then you come back and it's like, you attack one kobold and kill him. And then it's like, okay, now the rest of the 500 kobolds get their turn again. <laughs> Mark says, those SSI battles, d, &D games are good, but yeah, those battles we draw out. But I'm going to show this again. I showed this at the beginning of the stream. Jeremy says he has this game. I never, I don't have, I just picked it up today. My sister got it for me, actually. Star Trek The Next Generation interactive video board game. It's one of those VHS games. I definitely want to 
digitize the VHS and then try to stream this at some point soon because it looks pretty awesome um, if you're a Star Trek fan like I am. So I definitely want to check that out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Mark says, whoa. <laughs> I, I, I want to, I, it, looks, it looks awesome. Apparently it has um, Commander Riker is the, the director, and he, like, you know, Jonathan Frakes, and he has a guest spot. And uh, Robert Riley, who plays Gowron, is in it. He's in, like, everything, apparently. All right, let's do this one more time. Um, and then uh, maybe I'll call it a night for tonight. But this has been this has been fun. And, you know, the problem is you play so well, then, like, you don't want to play again because, you, can, you know, you're not going to be able to top yourself. Like, you already died. You, you know, you, sometimes you have, like, you're in the zone and you're playing well, then you stop and you, like, mess around for a little bit. Lester says, I love Pool of Radiance. Yeah, yeah, those huge battles. Yeah, it was a good game, and the story was awesome. And, and you know, I can even deal with the mazes and the dungeons and everything else, but, um... Yeah, um... Just the t amount of time it takes to, p to play it is really intense. Shrewrex2000 wants me to play... Oops, I, I, I got myself shot. RSD Game Maker. She worked through that. Ah, oh, that was crap. The guy came out of the wall and just got me. Put a link to it um, in the in the stream, and I'll try to take a look at it later. But it, I mean, it's, I, it's from my perspective, it's not about the engine per se. Like you know, because I'm not a. I mean, I am I, I am a programmer. Like I, I was a programmer. I could be a programmer, but I mean, I'd be more interested in the actual games they developed with it. So if they have some good games that are worth trying out, that are like you know obscure, like you said, and people don't know about them. Yeah, sure, I would stream it. So, so put a link in the chat when you get a chance. Lester says that's awesome, but I, were you talking about the board game, Lester? The Star Trek thing or something else? Yeah, this game is definitely way better than the Arcadia game, except the sound is not. The sound is about the same. For whatever reason. See, I shot him so much he turned green now. Which is much safer for me because that means like if I if I get hit like I would immediately like lose that battle. So he's, he's decided to hunt that thing. But I can still get points for shooting him actually. So I should that's why I showed that every time they done that. Yeah, the Dragon Star Trek board game. Yeah, I, I want to do that. Um, it's not the, what the link. You can't put the link in. You could, did you try it? Theoretically, it should work. People have put links in these chats before. But as long as like you know. I, I okay with it, it should work. Yeah, I'm not playing as well this time. And I don't, I'm not sure how this thing works either. Like, on the top right, there shows like a bunch of guys, and then some of them are yellow and some of them are blue. Like, I don't know what that means. But, it means something, I guess. Oh, that's the amount, oh, that's the, must be the amount of enemies I have to kill. Because it looks like they went down. Maybe it works? We'll try it. Then we'll know if it works or not. If you don't try it, I guarantee it will not work. It's like, it's really like a, it's like a lost cause trying to shoot these guys. You gotta get really lucky, and, and most likely they're gonna kill you while you're trying to kill them. I'm trying to be aggressive here to get that guy, but... See what happened? Like that guy almost hit me head on because I tried to do it. I still got him, but it was it was not easy. You all these other so that guys picked me off. The link works. Just copy paste it. Oh, see what? Why am I? Why am I just ahead now? You need to get ahead in life. Play juggler, the game where you literally are just ahead. If you don't like it, tough crap. What else to do? Um, yeah, Jim, that high score is mine. Why do you ask? And a high, also. <laughs> I was saying, I feel like this this game is easier, the arcade port. The, the, the arcade version is easier than the Arcadia port. I'm not playing very well right now. That's what happens when you get too aggressive. See, Jim, you can see the high score is mine. <laughs> uh, 
Um, extreme Rex is jumping controls and plugging to be a little awkward. It takes time to get used to. Yeah, I mean, if it's not working now, put it in the comments later. And um, I think with that, I'm going to wrap it up. So again, this has been Jungler for both the Arcade and the Arcadia 2600. Here's the Arcadia cart. Pretty big, honking beast here. Here's it compared to my head, my big head. So that's the Arcadia cart. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you're watching this after the fact, please make sure you subscribe so you can catch more stuff like this. And make sure you hit like and, and you know, spread the word that this is an interesting channel, I guess, if you like it, to let other people know. You joined just in time to be to, to, for the end, Jim, correct? I mean, I'm just going for an hour here. Um, to, on, tomorrow night, I'm not going to stream. Sunday night, sorry, Saturday night, I'm going to do some more of this 2064 Read Only Memories. And then on Sunday night, probably there will be a TRS-80 game. Um, yeah, Extreme Rec, your, your link is not coming through, but put it in, put it in the comments, and hopefully it'll it'll come through there. Like put, put it in the comments afterwards. But yeah, thanks everyone for being here. This is this is this is, this is a this is a great underrated game by Konami. Um, you know, I I didn't have very high hopes for it, but I think it was a lot of fun, um, honestly. And uh, I'll just let it run so you just so we can see something going on while I'm talking. But I think it's very underrated, and uh, I can imagine this would have done pretty well in the arcade, published again by Stern in the U.S. Um, but yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty cool. Mark says, thanks, dude. This was fun. Thank you for being here, Mark, and thanks for bringing Arturo. And thanks everyone else who's here. Lester and Jim at the end, Extreme Rec 2000. Gamers Grotto was here for a little bit. Uh, J-Rock popped in. He's probably still watching it like on his, on his device. And uh, who else was here? My wife was here for a little bit. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. But uh, whoever's uh, lurking or whatever, thanks for joining. Again, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll do this again soon. Have a great night, everybody.